up in a military family, so I lived the first half of my life all over the world. I lived in North Africa, Iceland, uh, Spain, Southern California, all foreign countries. Graduated from high school here in Memphis. And I wasn't really very sophisticated about the uh, college process. Neither of my folks had gone to college, and as far as they were concerned, any college was better than, than not having gone to college. And so uh, it was sort of left to me. And so I applied to a couple, actually about three different colleges. And CBU was the first one that I heard from. And uh, walking across the campus of CBU in 1973, or then CBC, uh, every person that I ran into spoke. Everybody said, hey, help you. And, and when it became clear I was sort of looking around uh, for the admission office, at least two different people said, well, you know, offered help or assistance or whatever. I went over and I dropped off the application papers, and this is all pre-online uh, applications, of course. So you drop that off, and that night I got home and got a phone call from someone in admissions just making sure if I, did I have any questions or was there anything that they could do to help. And so my initial impression was, was one of uh, being very welcomed, uh, being a very warm place, and, and being a place I was very interested in. You know, when you ask a senior in high school, what, what do they want to be, or you know, what do you think? At that point, my fantasy job was, uh, was to be an architect. And I thought, well, that would be wonderful to um, go to CBU. They had a great reputation for engineering. You know, I thought, well, civil engineering or mechanical engineering would be a good preparation for that. I was also very interested in playing baseball. And so I, I got to CBU and, and actually uh, walked on with the baseball team and quickly realized that afternoon classes would conflict greatly with any chance I had at playing baseball. And so uh, looking through at, at the registration day, looking through the catalog, I found a, a major called humanities. And I started reading the, the uh, course suggestions and they were all fascinating. I mean, you know, philosophy, English, Western civilization. And so uh, on registration day, I became a humanities major. And consequently, it did also didn't have labs and left my afternoons free. Fast forward at the end of the semester, baseball and I were no longer playing together, but humanities and I stuck. The education that you got there was, was not steeped in formal religious training. I mean, you know, they, they were very careful to, I, I guess, almost be more of a spiritual school than a specifically religious school. And one of those values came through, you know, the teachings of uh, St. John the Baptist de La Salle, you know, the, the, that service is, in and of itself, its own reward. And without preaching that, the administration, the faculty, the, uh, the, the people all around the school demonstrated that. They walked the walk rather than talk the talk. They, they demonstrated that. And, and so when you get yourself out in the world and you find that, that you have a couple of different tracks, say for a young lawyer who's, who's trying to decide whether to take the, the most, you know, highest paying job for them, or maybe a different job that, that doesn't maybe pay quite as much money or salary, but has other benefits, and, and you begin to realize the rewards, whether it's working in the public defender's office, working in the district attorney general's office, uh, all of these are service to your community and you know consequently you can also make a, a good living for yourself that, that's fine but the real enrichment comes is, is when you're doing something that you're well trained for that you love and that when you do it right benefits um, the community at large I mean, that's that's the definition of a success